the reason I wrote Mana Wahine was to well, I, I feel that um, Ngāti Pai women are one of the strongest in New Zealand and um, we ought to be proud to be to be from Ngāti Pai. And um, I was really inspired by women like Faya Maklachi and my mother, Sina Tangairi. And, um, well, just women in general on the coast. And um, as a woman in general, we have... Um, we give birth to the world, and it's a great gift and a great honour. And I've and um, men obviously respected um, their women because, well, all our marais are named after women. And the Mani Waiata is um, Tutami. Can you tell us a little bit about Tutami? Um, I don't really want to elaborate on two timing because to me it's self-explanatory and it's a very embarrassing subject but on the coast I feel it is a fact and something that um, something that relates to this area and um, if you listen to the words in two timing they speak for themselves and and <laughs> that you've got in this Ngātipo children tell us exactly what Ngātipo children is about and um, why you wrote it uh, Ngāti Pai Children is about Ngāti Pai. Yeah, Ngāti Pai. Um, it's to show that um, our area is not all doom and gloom, that we have a beautiful, uh, a beautiful area. Uh, we've got grass, I mean, pure water, pure clean air, and uh, we take those things for granted. And um, we just don't realise how lucky we are, and I think we should be proud to come from Ngāti Pai. Kia ora. Puma was a song I wrote in 1988. A group of us from Tokamaru Bay recorded the song for Radio Ngati Pro about 1990. And this Manu to contest, I decided to enter the song again as a memorial to my sister Mary. And unfortunately, she was one of the group that, that sung the original Puma. And I thought it to be a memorial to her, to her I decided that uh, I'd give it to someone else to sing. All I can say is uh, you've done a great job with the song Tanya and Kaha ka ha and good, good luck for tonight. Kia ora. Aro tiri te maunga, ko waitake o te awa, ko te ariuru te marae, Ko te whare tipuna, ko te ao tāwarirangi. Ko ngā kaiwaiata o te waiata nei a te ao tāwarirangi. Ko ana uri, ko tōna marae, ko tōna rohe, ko roto o waima, ko toko maru. Kia ora mai rā tātou. I tito o te waiata nei, hei, kia whai pūtake ei mātou, E noho nei i runga te marae nei ki te ako, i o mātou, tō mātou reo, me o na tikanga. Ko e nei uri a te kuia nei, kua maukato i a rātou ngā kōrero mōna. Nu reira me waiho atu ki ko rā. He ngā wari noe o te waiata nei, he ngā wari ngā kupu, he ngari e whakātu ana, Te tohu o te kuia nei ki runga o te whare. Hei whakamāharahara i ngā uri e tiki ake nei ki tō rātou reo, ki o rātou tikanga, ki a kore e ngaroi a rātou. Runga tu hoki o tērā, ki a mōhio e rātou, ki o rātou honohononga ki te whenua. Ko te wai a te tūrua, Ko atu te aroha. Ko tātou te iwi Māori e iwi aroha tātou. Kāre e utu mō tēnei mea te aroha. Kei a koe, te nuinga o te aroha, kei au, kei au wai rā nei, kei au wai rā nei. Nō reira ko te tikanga o tēnei wai ata. 
Ip ne ana, aha koa to pohara, aha koa to rangatira. E ngari mba te aroha koe ka orai. Koe nei ngā whakamāra mo bomo e nei waiata, a nei rā te whānau a te atawarirangi. Ki ora mai rā ngā tipura. The song Great Warriors is about Nga Toa Rangatira or Te Ao Māori in their time more than 100 years ago. Each of them mentioned in the song wanted to free themselves and their people from the takeover tactics that the Manahiri to this land Aotearoa were trying to put across then and now. I know now that they will want me you and all of us to stand for freedom and resist those who only want to rule the world. My composition, Brave Warriors, I need to thank these people. Music Workshop for the inspiration, Tanya Metcalf and her input in the third verse. Special thanks to Johnet Fairley of Waima for her input, Oto Tato Rangatira Prorangi. My co-backups are Marama Voice, Te Nākwe Ma, Soul Pepper Rangi, Te Nākwe Soul, Kimi Dole, Te Nākwe Kimi, and Sue Osborne, Te Nākwe Sue. Last but not least, Ki A Kwe Ere Nui Hei, Tuku Koka. Nau e whakamana te kaupapa o tēnei waiata. Nga reira. Tēnā rau atu koutou katoa. A ko titirangi te maunga, ko ua oa te awa, ko te aitanga hauiti e tau nei. Kamu hui anu, kamu hi ake ki a tōna, rau ko Chantel, kāri rau i tai mai te nei pō, kāri e... A hei te haere mai. He wai anu, he wai māri e nei au, i te mea he rua ngā waiata, ko a tai ki te nei pō. A te waiata tuatahi, he waiata mō a māua pōtiki a kerenapu. He waiata whakamui, he waiata e pāna ki ngā ahuatanga o te pēpi. A o tira he waiata aro. A te waiata tuarua, Nau mai e te whānu, he wai a tā ngāhau, he wai a tā. Kia hari kua tātou mo te kaupapa e tau. Nā reira huri nō te whare e hikama ki ora tātou katoa. Ok, my name is Marama Voice. I come from Tokamaru Bay. Um, I have the song in Manu Waiata at the moment which is called Love Song to Jesus. The reason why I'm singing gospel songs, because that's what mainly it is, it's a gospel song, and um, I use it as an outreach to tell people about the Lord Jesus. And, uh, that's the reason for the song. I've, uh, I've had a change of life and I'm still changing the things. Um, and, uh, well, the Bible has always been there for everyone to share, and the only way that I could do it was to put it into a song. Um, there's different ways of Christianity that's going on these days, and uh, my field at the moment is in the music. Um, I love writing songs about Jesus and um, about bits and pieces of the Bible. And I feel I'll be doing that for a long time to come. I, um, I appreciate the chances that I get to sing these things or these songs. And uh, even the people that listen to them, it's been quite amazing. The, the, uh, what would you call it? The, the input I've had from the outside people. Um, I just want to thank all you people out there for even just listening to my song or um, listening to it put together. And uh, 
I've really enjoyed just putting it together so that you could listen. And uh, I, I hope that um, you get a lot out of it, because that is the reason why I wrote the song. And uh, yeah, just thank you for listening. Kinakotoyaharamai the kaupapa e pā ana ki tāna, ki ki tōna, ki tōku, ki tō koutou, whakapapa. Arā, um, te wai o wai apu, te maunga o hekurangi, te iwi hoki. Ngati Poro Manga Kuputunu Ote Wayata E Korero A Nato Tato Turanga Wai Wai Ngati Poro Karanohe Nuinga Korero Minoki Te Iwi Tina Koto Ki ngā kai waiata, ki a kaha, ki a mana wanui, ki ora. Uh, tēnā koutou, ko taku waiata mō ngā maunga. Uh, e rua tau pia te i... Urumaite Pagaro Kirataya, Mote Bayata Arawiri, Tahiro Erotika Matahi, Kanga Tautinga Mang, Erea Herang, Kano Tena Kuru Tena Pakatauki Rotia Mote Tahewa Arua, Kari Tahewa Hineki Hirawa Hikahoki Mai, Kamati Kakore Romonga Manga Ikite Ireira, Manga Menga Iwi Orawa Hi. え、あちらの時点で、俺は多分もう、キャラだ。それで、うるまいて、カーラクロスや、ミキタを覚えた。もう、あ、漫画。お、たたう漫画。え、パリカーラがらんが、カラがよたたちぷね、かいてパリで大
the youngest being twin girls, who were only two. I believe our koka, who have large families, have done it all. That's what inspired me to write this song and sing it, Kia ora mai. Laser printer? Yeah, it was printer and laser. And you could have um, different type of fonts. Yeah. That was good. I like that one the best. But you had to have it, you couldn't have it in here because it's too hard for the eyes, for the old people. Yeah. So I've got all these ones. Well, if I do 15 seconds, that'll, that'll be plenty. Oh, my damn memory thing is shut off. So I don't know how long it's gone for. Oh, you got enough there. 20 seconds worth it. So I fade out or just... No, no. Just, just straight just out. Straight out, yeah. It's better now the counter goes on. put those on at the end of the composer so they're on super. That 2XR written all over that thing too, eh? That title board? I suppose well, that means nothing there. Eh? Uh, it would have been easily lost, quite easily, because it was never in the box. It was small enough to just drop into one of those, the tape boxes. Mm -hmm. Well, they should turn out quite nice. Plus, I think those fellas, uh, I don't know whether they had much teamwork going there, eh? Right? Well, I definitely ain't got it. Yeah, I and mean, then Ron has seen it, he's seen it. He said it looks like a little calculator of numbers. You saw it up there? Up here and here. Oh, down here? Mm. Oh, it's around there? So it never got nicked up there? No, it's here somewhere. Oh. It'll be just easily misplaced somewhere. We've had a lot. We stripped this down, went through all this gear, and in the background. Oh. It's quite. It's plenty. Yeah. Next to a fellow called Richmond. What were you doing at Camping College? Oh, Last my uncle was in the seventh form there, eh? Oh, he's back here? Yeah. They had a dinner for them the other night. At the Poverty Bay Club in Gisborne. All How the parents were sober and all the seventh forms were drunk. <laughs> and how did he do? Is this his first year there? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. His last year at school, you see, sitting bursary. Mm. Whatever that is. I never heard of it when I was at bloody school. Well, I heard you of it went to school, school in the dark ages. Yeah, yeah. You're lucky to have lights yeah, in your yeah. day when you went to school. <laughs> when I left school, I knew how to bloody catch a horse, I knew how to milk a cow, I knew oh, all those bloody things. Blah, 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 yeah, blah, yeah, blah, yeah. blah, Catch blah. a eels, I knew how to catch a eels, so let's carry on. Now he'll give you graphics on how to, yeah, yeah. where to find water, see? Yeah. All computer range now. Yeah. That's really, well, it's better for you then, so if you're going to Auckland. Yeah, but uh, what I found out was in Auckland, yeah, they were drinking like hell up there. And that camping is no different, and I suppose they're drinking beer everywhere. I don't know. During the speeches and whatnot, I was, he was sitting opposite me, I was kicking him under the table like, wait, don't behave like that. Behave your bloody self. But what well, could I do when all the others there were drunk as well? Eh? Why be a goody two shoes um, behind your back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was like a drunkard to my face, I was doing. <laughs> it's only because it's touching home base, that's why. <laughs> Yeah, the head prefect, the boy and the girl, they were drunk. Mm. The thing is to, rem to remember what you were doing when you were that age. Mm. Mm. <laughs> and all these kids being drunk here, when they were given, told to get up and have a five-minute speech, they were all talking all these horny things. Uh. 
Coons will go, oop. And the dry, dry swallow sort of thing. Oh, mm. poor things. Mm. I don't know how long this thing has been going for. No, you don't have to. Because I only use 15 seconds at the max. Yeah. Thing, eh, when it opens? Well, 4 o'clock it usually opens oh, yeah. in the afternoon. 4 o'clock. I've never seen it open before. But we call it that last shop. Yeah. It's usually ice cream yeah. shop. Yeah. And um, first time I called in there, we got some potato fritters. We got fish and chips, and I got potato fritters. I like potato fritters. And um, an egg burger. It didn't take long. It was about, it was just under 10 minutes. Nice. But the kids went to the toilet, you know, by the time they came back over across the road. And you didn't have to sit there long and wait. And mm. they were beautiful. Yeah. So we started yeah. stopping off there. and. I've been a fan of that place for years. Since it first started, eh? When the paint had hardly dried on the outside. Well, well. that's where I've gone to from um, Kati Moor. I've gone out to there. Well, at the Kati Moor now, when I go there, I say to a Peter boy, because look at their fish. Is they've, it got, fish? They've, got, they've, got, they've got these deep water fish there at Cardinal. They have fucking eyes on like that. Dude, They're only about this long. Gross. They got eyes on like that. I said, wait, put them in a bag for me. Hey, the eyes are beautiful. The first ones I ate, two of them I got the shit, so. But now I know just eat one at a time. Give some for Randolph too and much, some for... Too much protein. Hey, it? hey, the eyes are like that. There's oh, three times the size of a hub guy. And he says to me, Yuck. he said to me, I said to him the other day, you got some more? He said, yeah. I said, wait, put them in the front window. He said, no, Marys will need them. I said, man, that's because they haven't seen them. I said, wait, they see eyes like that, they'll come get them. He said to me, yeah. He said to me, what did you do with those other ones I gave? I said, I ate them. I he ate says, them. He says, what? You think you cannibal. He said, did you eat the eyes? I said, yeah, that's the best part. <laughs> This is bloody wife at home though. You know, it's wonder she doesn't ask me. Bring some home every night. Big eyes, eh? Their, d their deep water fish come from two and a half thousand feet down. Mm. Two and a half thousand feet. They come from the dark, eh? Down where the orange ruffy are. Go around there, get any amount off. Awesome. Hey, the eyes, eh? Beautiful. Freeze them. Yeah. Because he's just throwing them out. He's just throwing them out. He goes, no one will buy them. I say, have you tried them? No. We'll try them. You should just put it in the front of his Put window. it in the front, yeah. He said, no, nah, they're only married by, I think, turkey heads. I said, mate, when they see these ones, I said, the main reason why, well, the main reason why they're buying heads for the eyes. That's the best part of it. Fuck, I didn't know oh, these I things, eh? Hey. You didn't know these things. Well, these here. He's probably thinking I'm pulling these bags in there. Probably thinks I took them home, two bastards away, eh? And coming back and telling him bullshit. You know, he's got a sense of humor, this bucket, he's probably there. Yeah, bloody pulling my leg, Johnson. Uh, that bloody nonsense. So that's all I've got to put on is the front and the back. And then that'll be it. It's been colour shot to hand on back again. And then? And then they just got to tuck them down. Oh, yeah. I don't know you've I'd have to use that, use that machine for the dubbing air, that mixer. One, two, it's got, three. It's got the output jacks on it, eh? You'd be able to do one, two, three. Three? As many videos as they can lay their hands on, eh? Mere logic. 